So it looks like the some of the pieces are starting to tumble in West Virginia, <laughs> right? In the judicial, right? America used to be three branches of power. It used to be judicial. It used to be, that's all the judges, right? Federal, state, whatever. Judicial, right? Separate entities, separate uh, branches of power. Ah, I sent like... Like there's Batman, and then there's 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 uh, the there's Spider Man, there's Santa Claus, right? There's separate divisions of power in America. That's how it's supposed to work, right? All right. So you have the the judicial, you have the executive branch. That's Trump and all the people underneath him. That includes the FBI and the CIA. Now we know that these agencies have run rogue, and they're now working uh, on their own behalf, on the donor class behalf. To attack the boss, right, president. So there's no separation of control of of uh, separations of power. And the final one is our great senators and Republicans that we chase around the street, uh, asking their opinion. And what do we get? You know, we get the same old rhetoric, right? So those are the three branches of power. And true pundit, uh, I've always said, I'm going to read an article from true pundit. It's uh, entire West Virginia Supreme Court was just impeached. Right. So is is uh, is is this a is this a tipping point in in, in judicial? Wait until you wait till I read this. The the stati- the stats uh, on just how corrupt they uh, are is uh, fairly staggering. So let me let me read this. Right. West Virginia. I'm just going to try to do this without crashing my screen. The West Virginia Supreme Court was just impeached. West Virginia lawmakers made a historical decision Monday. They voted to impeach the state's entire Supreme Court of Appeals, the highest court in the state. Now, all high courts are appeals. That means that they don't hear cases fresh. They hear the case when it loses, they hear the appeal, meaning that the person is arguing that that certain um, parts of the law or certain things in that case were not heard, so you appeal, right? Right? That's what the Supreme Courts are, right? even, even at the highest level in D.C., just for, just for clarity. The West Virginia House of Delegates Judiciary Committee approved 14 articles of impeachment against the court's four sitting justices last week. Their, allega- their, their alleged grievances range from misuse, using taxpayer money for office renovations, to using state-owned property, including a historic desk for personal use. The full House of Delegates considered the articles of impeachment on Monday, ultimately approving 11 of them through a series of votes that fell along party lines. The New York Times reported. Ugh. Well, they reported it, so what? Eight of the articles targeted the court's Chief Justice, Alan Lottery, who according to the Times, has been suspe- suspended since June. Among other accusations, he, accuse- he is accused of lying to lawmakers and making state property for his own, using state property for his own personal use, including a, a, a vehicle and gas cards. The remaining justices, acting Justice Chief Justice Margaret Workman and Justice Robin Davis and Elizabeth Walker were impeached on three articles. Workman and Davis were impeached for overpaying senior status judges on lower courts, while Davis was impeached for misusing a half a million in taxpayer funds to renovate his office. All four justices were charged with neglect of duty, abusing their power, and failing to rein in the the, the spending of others. There's more to the article. If you want to read it, it's down below. There was a, a bunch of other ones, right? That uh, two or three of them actually um, quit. They resigned before this impeachment rolled in. So the whole fucking uh, all the whole court of appeals out. Get out, right? Either run for the door now, run for the door, or we're coming for you. I love this, right? Look, is it isolated? Is West Virginia, this situation in West Virginia, where the, where the uh, Court of Appeals, the highest court, we have one here in New York, uh, all, uh, in Albany, right? Right before uh, my personal experience in Conti Versti, I right before I got to that, there was the uh, preliminary courts of appeal, right? It's the, right? 
and it's thoroughly corrupt. For, from in my in my view, I hope you know what um, the the attorney general Eric Schneiderman was fired or he was run out of office on uh, sexual harassment charges. I hope that my voice had something to do with that idiot getting thrown out of office. I I mean in retrospect, I I I, t- I tend to think that. There was, you know, a massive, uh, massive uh, ticket quota corruption in New York City. And when I presented it to the powers that be, Schneiderman included, uh, they ignored it, along with the Court of Appeals, right? The Court of Appeals ignored evidence, hard, solid evidence in their own words of a ticket quota in New York City. And they ignored it, right? So here we go. West Virginia did the right thing. They got rid of these dead beats right they're living off well they don't that's i mean that's only petty stuff that they're, they're that that they're using you know state cars and state gas cards and, and all that shit right using someone's desk <laughs> they're probably using the like the supreme court justice historic desk he probably had it in his in his back room somewhere so i hope that this is excuse me <coughs> a tipping point in american politics where I don't know how they got it done, but they got it done. Where they eliminated the whole um, whole Supreme Court of a state at the state level. This is not federal level. Can we do it at the federal level? Ah, can, we, oh, can we do it at the federal level? Can all the senators and congressmen get together and have a judiciary committee? <laughs> a, a, a state, a House of Delegates Judiciary Committee. And get rid of these scumbags, nine justices that don't really represent the people anymore. Let's get a change. Let's change it up. What the hell, man? Let's change it up. It's our country. It's our country. All these, the, the, the nine ju- justices that are in there right now are all money grabbers. Overturned Citizens United? Fuck you. So that, you know, you want, you want a, a Green New Deal? A Green New Deal? Fuck you, Exxon. We got to make money, right? You want universal health care? What about the what about the five million people that work in the in the health care insurance industry? We're gonna throw them out of jobs? Damn right we're gonna throw them out of their jobs. Get rid of them. Judicial doesn't necessarily make those decisions. You you know what I'm saying though. They back the laws that keep those decisions in play. See how it's it's like a tag team. The ju- the, the the senators and the congressmen throw a law in front of the ju- judicial and then they they keep it going. It's a big it's a big game. It's a big scam. Get rid of all of them. All the state. Start over. Start over. Start over. We want a we want a new deal. We want a new deal. We don't trust these people. West Virginia proves it. They got rid of their. They got rid of the court of appeals. Now let's see what they get in exchange. All right. Good. Good. Fine. Thomas Paine. This is excellent. This is news. See, this is what people need to talk about. On them. This is what the mainstream media should be talking about. This is what the mainstream media should be talking about. But the corporate mainstream media, legacy media, whatever you want to call it, the corporately owned media will not talk about this. Why? Because they're owned by the corporations, the oligarchy. It's the oligarchy. Oligarchy. Monopoly, right? That's what, the, that's what this is all about right here. This is keeping the oligarchy in place. I have my position. I'm going to vote along certain lines by, what do I do? Do I look out into the audience and say, what do the people want? No. They look out and, and who's giving them the money? The donor class. So, again, this is, this, is, this is what I've been saying all along. That the judicial, the third, one of the three branches of power in the United States that's supposed to be under the Constitution. We have a Constitution and then the the one, two, how do I do this? See, here's the Constitution and then there's the three branches of power that, that go out, right? That's a good way to do it. Constitution, three branches of power, right? Now, they're all, they're supposed to listen to the Constitution and the three branches of power, three Constitution, Three branches of power, right? But they don't listen to that anymore. Why? Because this is now the oligarchy. They take this and they throw it in the garbage and they put the corporations here. The, the voice of the corporations raining down on the three branches of power. And then it becomes all about the money. Who gives them the money? The corporations control the three branches of power because they're paying them. You see how they're paying them? They pay them off and then they pay for their decisions, Right? They're paying the oligarchy 
the the 500 billionaires in America, the the CEOs of 10,000 publicly traded companies that don't pay any tax, right? That's who's controlling the three branches of power. Get rid of them. Start over. My name is Marcus Conti, independent uh, journalist, independent candidate for the United States Senate, blogger here on YouTube, truth teller, opinionist. Peace out. Oh, while you while you while you're uh, not doing anything, go go to eBay and and buy some stickers. I just made them. Uh, I initially put them out six for five dollars. I just made it twelve for five dollars. I just made it twelve for five dollars. Twelve, twelve of these beautiful campaign stickers. Twelve of these amazing, amazing. Did I say amazing? Amazing campaign stickers. Look at that. Look how beautiful that is. Look how that's me. That's me. That's me when I used to wear a cowboy hat. Uh, uh. Go buy some stickers. Peace out.